Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the solution of tutorial sheet 7. The question number 1 is based on local maxima, local minima and saddle point of the function. Basically this tutorial sheet 7 is based on finding the extreme value, saddle point, and absolute maxima and absolute minima. So you are given a function of two or three independent variables. You have to find out the local maxima, local minima and saddle point. Now what is the procedure? We first of all find out the critical points by finding the partial derivative of the function with respect to each independent variable. We will see those points, those interior points where these derivatives are zero or undefined. So we will find out these partial derivatives. We, pull, we will put this uh, derivatives to be zero. We have two equations, solve these two equations and get the value of critical points. At those critical points, we need to check whether the function attain maxima, minima or subtle point. So we have to check with the help of second derivative test and that test says that uh, we will find out the partial derivative of the function, second order partial derivative with respect to x, then with respect to y, f of x, y. And if this derivative f of x, x, if it is positive and f of xx into f of yy minus f of xy whole square is also positive, then the function attains minima. If this is negative and this discriminant is positive, then the function assumes maxima. And whatever the sign of this, if this is negative, then the function has saddle point. Right now, just see question number one, part one. Here you are having a function of two independent variables. We first find out the partial derivative of the function with respect to x and y. Now, what is the derivative of this with respect to x? It is 2x plus 3y. Its derivative is 0 minus 6. Its derivative is 0. Its derivative is 0. So, this is equal to 0. So, we are having this equation. Similarly, find out its partial derivative with respect to y, which will be 3x plus 6y plus 3 equals to 0. So now we are having two equation in two unknowns x and y. Simplify these two equations. We get the value of x and we get the value of y. So here 15 comma minus 8 this is a critical point. Now we need to check whether the function assume maxima minima at this critical point. Now we find out f of xx. Now take its derivative again with respect to x we get this is 2 take its derivative with respect to y this is 6 take its derivative with respect to y then this is 3 this is positive and when you find discriminant this is also positive so the function has local minima at a critical point 15 comma minus 8 similarly we will do the second part here also we are given a function this of two independent variable first we find out the, the partial derivatives we put it to be zero we get a critical point from here and the, this point is 3 comma 3 by 2 now using the second derivative test we need to check the second order partial derivatives we need to check the discriminant here discriminant is positive and f of xx is negative so this implies the function has local maxima at this point same in the third part, we are having this equation. We have to find out local maxima, local minima of this function. So we first find out the partial derivatives. We put it to be 0. Simplify these two equations. We get two critical points. One is 0, 0 and other is minus 1, minus 1. We cannot consider 0 and minus 1 as a one point because this equation should satisfy always. So when you put x to be 0, you get y is 0. When you put x to be minus 1, you get y is also minus 1. So we cannot consider 0 minus 1 or minus 1 comma 0 point. That point uh, does not satisfy this condition. So we are only having two critical points over here. Now we need to check maximum and minima at both these points. So we find out all the first uh, second order partial derivatives with respect to xx, with respect to yy, with respect to xy. Now we put this point. At this point, f of xs is 0, f of yy is 0, but f of xy is 3, so this discriminant is negative at 0, 0, which implies function has a saddle point at 0, 0. And at minus 1, comma, y minus 1, this is negative, but discriminant is positive. So the function has local maxima at a point minus 1, comma, minus 1. Same way, we can find out the critical points for the function this. 
now here we are having a function 1 by x and 1 by y so clearly x not equal to 0 and y not equal to 0 both this point are not in uh, will be the points of domain x cannot be 0 x cannot be y cannot be 0 in the domain so when you find out its partial derivative you have two equations when to you simplify these two equations you will have 0 and 1 are the critical points uh, for x variable but uh, since x cannot be 0 because that is not a part of domain so the critical point is only 1 1 so at 1 1 we need to check the second derivative conditions so we find out f of x s f of y y f of x y at 1 1 the second order derivative with respect to xx is positive and discriminant is also positive so with this implies function has local minima at 1 1 same way we can do question number fifth again we can find out the partial derivatives we can put it to zero we get the critical points at this critical point we need to check the conditions so here the function has zettel point at 0 0 and local maxima at 2 comma 2 now the question 2 in question 2 we have to find absolute maxima and minima of the function on the given domain on a closed triangular plate bounded by the lines this in the first quadrant so whenever we have to find absolute maxima and absolute minima first of all we draw the region whatever the region is given to us just draw it just sketch it so here the region is the line x is equal to 0 the line y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2x so we get this triangular region over this triangular region we have to find absolute maxima and a minima of this function first of all we take its partial derivative we put it to be 0 we get a critical point at this critical point find out the value of the function now we need to check at the boundaries since we know that the possible places where the function may assume maxima minima are those interior points where the derivatives are zero or undefined and the boundary points so here the boundary points are this complete boundary line oa complete boundary line ab and bo so we will find out the uh, points maximum minima along all these boundary points so if we first consider the line oa along oa the equation is y is equal to 2x and our x is varying from 0 to 1 so if we substitute y is equal to 2x in this function in the given function the given function will convert into single variable function which is x now you find out its derivative with respect to x put it to be 0 you get a interior point where the function may assume maxima and minima in case of single variable again the same procedure we have to find the interior point over this line where the function may have maxima minima and the end point end points are 0 0 and 1 2 so interior point will be with the help of the derivative and end points are 0 0 and 1 to find out the values at all these points right now same way along a b and along b o along a b the equation of the line is y is equal to 2 and our x is again varying from 0 to 1 so we can substitute y to be 2 in a main function over here and we can convert the whole function in x again take its derivative with respect to 0 again we are having some point and at the end points find the values of the function at all those points similarly along bo now from all these values we have to observe at what point the function assume maxima so by observing we see at 0 0 the function having the maximum value which is 1 and at 1 2 the function is having minimum value which is minus 5 so absolute ma maxima will exist at 0 0 and the value is 1 absolute minima exist at 1 comma 2 and the value is minus 5 same way we will do b part here we are having this function and the clo close triangular plate lines x0 y0 y plus 2x is equal to 2 so this region this procedure is same first of all find out the critical points by finding the partial derivative of the function and by putting them to be 0 then along the boundary lines so along OA along AB and along BO along OA Y is 0 so put Y to be 0 in main equation and your X is varying from 0 to 1 
similarly along bo and along ab right find out all the points find the values at end points now observe the maximum value so after observing we get to at 0 to the function attain maximum value which is 4 and the minimum value is at 0 0 which is 0 similarly we can do question number 3 here we are having a rectangular plate so this is the region over this region we have to find out the absolute maxima and minima so the procedure is same we have to find out the partial derivatives we put it these derivatives to be zero we get a critical point now we need to check along all the boundary lines first check along oa then ab then bc then co along oa the value of y is minus three and your x is varying from zero to five along ab your x is fixed which is five and your y is varying from minus three to three so by putting all these our function reduces to a function of single variable now we can find its critical point and the values at the end points so after calculating all these we observe that absolute maxima exist at a point 5 comma 3 because the value is uh, maximum value it is 21 and the minimum value exists at 4 minus 2 which is minus 10 similarly question 4 part similarly second fifth part now question number three you are given a flat circular plate which has a shape of the region x square plus y square less than equal to one so it is a circle and all the point lying inside also so this is a domain we have to find out the hottest point and the coldest point on this plate if the temperature is given to us at any point x y as this so that means we have to find out absolute maxima and absolute minima so first of all we find out the partial derivative we put it to zero we get critical point now at the boundary line so boundary line is the equation is x square plus y square is equal to one so we can find out the value of y as one minus x square square root plus minus so when you substitute this over here our uh, function converts into single variable in x now we can find out its derivative with respect to x and we can find out the interior point where the function may assume maxima minima and the end points are minus one zero and one zero so we observe that the hottest point is the point minus one by two comma square root of three by two because here the value is eleven by four and the coldest point is half comma zero here the temperature is minus one by four similarly we can find out absolute maximum and minima of this function over this region and absolute maximum and minima of this function over this region the procedure is same first of all find out the partial derivatives put them to be zero you get a critical point now check along all the boundary lines by converting the function into single variable